Um, so this is not a good video. Not a very good video. I would appreciate it if you uh, would watch the entire video uh, and kind of hear what I have to say and let me know your thoughts down below on what you think uh, I should do for the future of this channel because uh, we have an enemy, guys. We have an enemy and it turns out, and then they made it very clear that they are not my friend and they are my enemy in fact. And unfortunately they have 100% control of everything that I do. That enemy is a platform that I upload my videos on called YouTube. I'm gonna be referring to YouTube as mommy from this moment on though, because I don't want them to absolutely destroy this video's performance in the algorithm. First, I'm gonna answer a question, okay? Your question is, how come the channel of Oompaville didn't, the the, the life-giving teat of the Oompaville channel didn't produce its content, its milky content today? It's beautiful, con just, well, I'll tell you. I got another strike, okay guys? I got two strikes now. And fortunately, at the time of me uploading this video, about 10 minutes ago, the second strike was repealed. So I only have one strike, but before that, I had two strikes. And I was contemplating a lot of different things and different decisions to make. My first strike happened a month ago. I've already talked about it in length. I deleted my video because YouTube stifled it, which I don't know why. Basically for that one, Jacksepticeye and Sniperwolf both used the exact same video that I had in my video that got me a strike. Neither of them got a strike. And I'm not saying that they should have gotten a strike to make that clear, okay? But it's just unfair treatment and lack of context on the part of YouTube. Also, they never told me exactly why or what I should do in the future to not get more strikes to have my entire livelihood taken away and the livelihood of um, seven people, basically. We can just start by saying our relationship has soured uh, since then. And especially yesterday, it's really soured because they, they struck a video that's over a year old. Why did they strike it? Because I linked an OnlyFans in it. Okay, and you're probably saying, well, that was dumb. In hindsight, that was kind of dumb. But in the creation of said OnlyFans and the intent of that video, uh, we were raising money for a sexual assault charity. Okay, I made an OnlyFans for my editor with Minecraft satirical funny things in it that weren't, they didn't, it was no nudity. All of the money that we raised from that, which was like a few hundred dollars and more of my own money, we donated to Rain. And I've done this on multiple occasions. Yeah, that video was the video that I got a strike for, for linking that and having uh, content that revolved around OnlyFans. They have yet to respond to me in any way other than just taking the strike off my channel and not giving me any sort of commentary or reasoning as to why they struck the video or specifically why they struck the video. They just gave me a strike, told me the video, didn't say anything about it. I appealed and said, yo, I made a satirical OnlyFans to donate to a sexual assault charity and you guys just struck that video, right? That's my response. Obviously it worked, thank God. And I'm gonna leave it there. Just kidding, I'm not gonna leave it there. Since we're leaving context out of all these situations, uh, YouTube mainly is the one that leaves context out of these situations. Uh, I'm gonna leave context out of this situation and just go ahead and say that I don't believe personally that YouTube has any support for um, women and their ability to make money using sex, okay? Sex workers, it's a real thing that exists. And also, they don't care too much about sexual assault charities. Uh, it seems like at least the video that, I, that, 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 that they targeted for almost no reason was a video specifically designed to donate money to charity. Uh, and I don't brag about that and I don't even make it like really known to be honest, but I do donate money to charities on a regular basis and I don't find it as rewarding to just be like, hey guys, I'm donating a bunch of money to charity. I have a few charity streams planned. Well, not on my YouTube channel because you can't stream when you get a strike for like 90 days. So I can't do that anymore either. Yeah, the point of this video is that YouTube is not my friend. It's not your friend. Uh, it is a platform that has a lot of really good, entertaining, talented people on it and the platform itself is terrible. Mommy is a bitch, all right? From what I gathered, she doesn't care about women um, or sexual assault charities or uh, sex workers being safe. So that's basically the the like the like moral of what I've gathered in this entire experience. Um, and genuinely, I don't know what to do because if like uh, yesterday, if I were to have gotten one more strike, because I made two videos on that, by the way, if they would have just arbitrarily struck another video, gone forever is I. Complete and total annihilation of my channel and everything that I've worked to build. Almost 3 million subscribers. The relationships that I've built on this platform with you guys. Um, and basically my whole life. Gone in an instant like fucking Thanos snapping it out of, uh, out of just thin air. Okay, that's YouTube. That's what they do. 
They do that on a regular basis to people and they don't give a fuck about anything but advertisers and people who make shit low, most common denominator tier content. Okay, I'm not gonna call anyone specifically out, but you know who I'm talking about, all right? So unfortunately, going forward, there's not really much I can do other than just hope and pray that they don't give me strikes randomly, like the tyrannical platform that they are, which the definition of tyr tyranny is like arbitrary uses of power, um, you know, which they do that. Mommy's a tyrannical bitch, guys, and I really want to continue making videos. And honestly, I have more of a drive in me now to make the best stuff that I possibly can. And uh, I, I kind of want you guys to be there along the ride and kind of just say, say, fuck you, mommy, you stupid bitch, basically. What do you guys think? You think we should fucking take over YouTube this year and uh, force them to listen to this community and my channel uh, in spite of them not wanting to and them not standing for the same things that, that we stand for, like equality of men and women, sex workers, uh, and sexual assault charities, and just charities in general? Because I can understand just handing out a dumb fucking strike for a video with someone that didn't get hurt, but looks like he's getting hurt. I can understand that. Or a child, you know, involving with a child. But I don't understand what they did yesterday, okay? That is absolute, total nonsense that should not be forgiven, and coming from me cannot be forgiven. I, I will hold a grudge, um, and I will look at this platform in a lesser light because of this. Context be damned. Um, because they've damned it from the start. So what can you do? Um, I'm going to ask you to press like on this video so they actually show it to people. And let me know your thoughts down below. What you think we should do? What do you think I should do going forward? Should I focus more on the gaming channel? Uh, I enjoy this a lot. This is what I really enjoy doing, my main channel stuff. I ask you guys, if you're like, you just watch my videos and you don't subscribe, hit the subscribe button, turn on the bell so you actually get notified when I release a video because YouTube, if they just feel like it, they can just not show my content to anyone. And everyone always says that. Oh my God, you're shadow, I'm, I'm shadow banned. I'm... Shadow banning is not real most of the time. My videos do very well. I have extremely good retention and ex extremely good click-through rates, which means they should do well in the algorithm um, by basic logic and like, you know, they claim they don't stifle stuff, but they absolutely do. They absolutely do. Okay, and now they also don't, uh, you know, believe in, like, basically rights for women. So, and I'm joking about that. Okay. Anyways, guys, I love you all, and uh, mommy can go fuck herself.